Hello. So I'll just give this just a minute just to kind of let people hop on because um, I know it takes a second for people to get an alert to know um, that I'm on. I know like several of you have, have been asking about how to properly use dry shampoo. What I do to use shampoo. Hey, Kaylin. So yeah, let me know. Hey, let me know when you're on. Give me some hearts, some likes. Say uh, hello below. Let me know that you're on. Um, and of course, if you have questions or anything, pop, start popping them below. But first, just like say hello so I know you're on because I'll see sometimes the number, but I won't always see everyone who's on. And I want to know who's joining me right now while I talk about this. So first things first, um, I lost my stand. So hopefully how I have my phone propped up is going to work. Second, my husband thought it was really funny to like like try to wrestle and then like give me a hickey basically he thinks he's really funny like that so yes i have a bruise on my neck and i was like dude for real buddy like i'm gonna go live and now i've got that on my neck so i'm just gonna call it out for what it is because you know my husband thinks he's hysterical um and thirdly so just so you know, I just got done working out. I wanted to make this as realistic for you guys as possible. Um, I just got done working out. I'm currently doing P90X again. I haven't done this program in like forever. Um, it's one of my favorite programs. It's kind of what like kickstarted my journey um, getting healthy again. My husband did that to me the other day. It's not funny, right, Mary? Like really? I know, he thought it was hysterical. He was like, I'm going to give you one. I'm like, no, you're not. You're going to leave me alone. And then he like did it. And then he was like, whoops, sorry. I didn't think it was going to do that. But whatever. Men, you know, they do what they do. So anyways, <laughs> can't help them, right? Um, so anyway, so this program, I haven't done it in a while. I did arms and shoulders today of all days. So my arms, if you see me, I'm like shaky right now <laughs> from doing my workout. But I was like, hey, we're gonna do this because um, I want you guys to see what I do and how this works. So first things first, I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna give you tips um, of what to do and what not to do when using dry shampoo. And then of course, um, my favorite brands that I use. So yeah, right, Kyle, I can't take that guy anywhere. <laughs> But if you're hopping on, please tell me hello and let me know that you're on. Um, I'm excited to share this with you guys because I've been getting a ton of questions about this. Okay, so I used to use this brand, um, Not Your Mother's Clean Freak, but, and, and this you can get at Target, I'm sure, at any um, hair supply store, but I've been hearing about this brand a whole bunch. Um, and this is, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Don't ask me to. I'm horrible at pronouncing things. <laughs> and I love this because one, it's for dark hair. So if you're a brunette, it actually comes out darker versus how most dry shampoo comes out white. Um, so I liked that. This one smells absolutely amazing. Um, and I got this one at Target and you can pick it up from a whole bunch of stores. Now dry shampoo, this is horrible. I should have looked this up. It's not that expensive. Um, and when you think about how long you can go in between washing your hair, it prolongs um, how often I have to wash my hair. And my shampoo is expensive. Like, I don't hold out on my shampoo. Like, I definitely spend top dollar on my shampoo. Um, so this is a lifesaver for me because it actually ends up helping me save money. So spend, you know, accordingly on your dry shampoo. This one, I really don't even think was all that expensive. Um, and I, but I can't remember if anybody knows you could drop the, the dollar amount because I know a lot of people love to use this. Now, here's the thing. If your hair is super oily and you're like, Blair, you don't understand. I've tried using dry shampoo the next day. It doesn't work. I'm like, I'm going to show you how to use it. But if for still, if some reason you're like, it's not working, um, I highly suggest putting a little bit of dry shampoo literally right after you style your hair or right before you go to bed. Just spray a little bit in because then it's going to actually start to work before the oils start to produce. The whole point of this is to help control it, but if your 
hair gets like super, super oily, it makes it harder for it to work. So keep that in mind. If your hair is super oily, be proactive about it and just use it a little bit before or like the night before. I've done that before. And I also find the more you start using dry shampoo, the easier it gets and I feel like your, your hair starts to adapt. Um, so like so if you can see, my hair is not super, super dirty. If your hair, like I said, Elizabeth, if your hair is always oily, that's why I say like right after you blow dry and style your hair, add some in. Like right after you style your hair and then add in a little bit more before you go to bed to kind of already have it in your hair so it can just already start soaking up the oils. It will help. So like I said, I worked out, I went ahead and I already took a shower. What I do is I'll put my hair up in a bun and I use one of these, you know, wonderful little shower caps that I look like I'm, Kyle laughs at me. He's like, you're eight years old. Now what I do is um, I make sure to shake it up really, really good. And then I'm just gonna section, put it in the sections that are the oily, oiliest. Now I always seem to first start getting really oily right here in the front. And I will spray it down more at the roots. Okay, and then I'll just, hope you guys can see this. Just a couple little spritz on both sides. You guys see that? And I'll come back over on this section. Okay. So I literally just get into the very first chunk. I don't let it sit for that long. Some people will say it will, but I will take a brush. I don't use my fingers and I start working it into my hair. The reason being is that you have natural oils on your fingers. If you are trying to not get oily hair and you're trying to you know, make it, you know, use, have this use, oh my God, I can't even talk, have this uh, work better, then you need to not use your fingers. You can use, I've used this kind of brush, or I've even used sometimes like my round brush, but I'll just work it in. I'll work it in really good because I kind of like get it into the roots like that, and then I brush through. Okay, then I'm gonna brush it through. It gets kind of knotty. Now for those of you guys that are like, well how do you make sure that your hair st stays volumized? Um, I would suggest using volumizing products, um, you know, like when you shampoo, before you style it, uh, making sure that when you're blow drying your hair, I tend to dry and lift from the roots to try to get my hair as much body as I possibly can. So that kind of like will hold more. Then what I'll do, so I get the most oily spots and I'll check around. There's a little bit in the back, not a lot. And I'll just get into the back of my hair. You guys can see. Just into the areas, it's not a lot. You wanna use little. Less is more, and you just kind of, I work it in. Now, I want to just say, I am not a hairstylist, you guys, okay? If you're a hairstylist and you're watching me right now and you're like, what is this girl doing with her dry shampoo? This is just what works for me, okay, you guys? You have to play around with the dry shampoo a little bit. It took me time to learn how it worked better for me, and, you know, I asked my hairstylist advice. I watched YouTube videos, but there we go. Oh. And then I just brush it all the way through again, okay? So that's what I do. So then, if I find that my ends are looking just a little maybe dried out, or they're just not as styled as I'd like, this is where I'll go back in and maybe I'll take a curling iron or a flat iron and I'll just kind of like smooth out the ends and kind of style them a little bit better. Um, I will also use, I have a product, like this is called Mythic Oil, it's rich oil. I use this actually on my hair wet after I shampoo, um, just from about here down. 
um, to kind of help moisturize my ends. But you can also use just a little bit of this and place it in and work it through dry to kind of help re uh, moisturize the ends if your ends get really dry. I have a tendency that happens, like the crown of my head will get really oily, but then the ends will get really dry. Now, um, if later on during the day, I start to see like near the end of the day, obviously it's now the, already the end of the day, but if I had done this in the morning, let's say, and before bed, like I said, if I started to see a lot of oil coming, creeping back in, I would apply just a little bit more, work it through, and then sleep with that so that it actually stayed fresh. Um, and now this is, honestly, you guys, this is perfect for me because for somebody who like, I work out every single day, right? And then like tonight, I'm going to be hosting um, a sneak peek into what I do as a coach actually at like six o'clock, what, in like an hour and a half. And I work out. And then I would have to shower. If I was literally going to have to get ready, I would have uh, had to work out. I would have had to shower. I would have had to do my hair, which that takes a lot of time. Then I would have had to cook dinner. Then I would eat. And then to get ready for um, my sneak peek into my coaching business at six, there's no way for me that that's feasible. So that's why I started using dry shampoo was literally because I'm like, I ain't got no time to wash my hair every single day, but I still want to work out and I want to look some, you know, half presentable when I'm doing like my live sneak peeks into my, you know, coaching and, and stuff like that. Like I don't want to look like a total hot rock, even though most of the time I do. And I'm sure you guys don't mind. So, um, yeah, so that's how I do that. So there you guys, if you guys have questions and stuff, by all means, post them below and I'll definitely come back on and I'll, I'll check and see if there was anything I missed. Um, I love besties. Yeah, I, I feel like that's the best one. And I, it's not that expensive either. Um, and for those of you too, if you guys hopped on and if you want to join in on my a sneak peek tonight, like I said, I have one going tonight because that's another question I get a lot of questions about is what it is I actually do as a coach because you guys see me working out you see me helping people you've seen all this other stuff if that's something that interests you too I'm going to be doing that like I said 6 p.m. tonight Pacific Standard Time um holler at me I'll give you the deets on that as well thank you guys for hopping on I hope this was really helpful um and so you guys can better have you know be able to figure out how to use your dry shampoo better okay love you guys bye